Welcome to Brick Trains, I'm Joey, and today I got notes, because this one, I don't think it's controversial, but there's a lot of things going on in this set here. So, <clears throat> what we're talking about is set 157, the Car Auto Transport. This set came out in 1970, and how do I know it came out in 1970? Because on page on page, well this page here that's marked, <laughs> page 435 of the Sears Wish Book from 1970 is the first time we see it. Okay, get a close up shot of the magazine for you there. See the, the auto transport. A whole $499, 65 pieces, which is an interesting thing. Here we go again, 65 pieces is what Sears said it came with. The box says it comes with 67. And I know we've gone over the wheels and they come apart and then how many cars are... So uh, this one, I, I, I don't know, 65 or 67 pieces, there's a bunch of pieces in there. So it was not in the 1971 catalog, but here's an interesting thing, and this is gonna play into it. Right here, and I'll get a close up of this too, on the front of the 1970 Christmas season wish book, it says, save this catalog for, uh, save this catalog. You can order any toy on page 435, oh, I'm sorry, 433 through 607 from now until July 30th of 1971. Now, remember, the auto transporter is listed on page 435, so you could buy this from this catalog all the way up to July of 1971, guaranteed Sears. Sears didn't mess around, they were a big catalog thing. If it was in the wish book and they said you could order it till July 71, you were gonna be able to order it till July 71. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what's the deal here? Why, why are you worried about that? What, that don't, so what? Here's the deal with this set. Again, it was a Sears exclusive. This is at the end of Samsonite's contract with Lego. It wasn't the end of the contract with Lego. It was a, It was when Lego and Samsonite separated. The contract with Samsonite was a long-term contract and a, it went south. Something happened, they didn't, they didn't do well. Uh, you know how Lego is. <laughs> Samsonite probably did not play well with Lego. Um, any rate, this set came with this clear or colored box that you could get from the store. So from the store, when they ran out, they ran out, right? If it wasn't on the shelf to sell, it wasn't on the shelf to sell. If Lego was supposed to, or Samsonite was supposed to deliver more to Sears and they didn't, okay, but at least Sears wasn't caught with their, with inventory in a catalog that they were still wanting to sell or needing to sell or being able to have to sell, obligated to sell. If it just went on a shelf, went on a shelf. From the catalog, if you ordered it, it came in a brown box. I don't have the brown box version, but it just came in a plain brown box. And I'm telling you, if Sears said they were gonna have it, they were gonna have it. They planned on it. They expected it. If Lego didn't, I'm gonna say Samsonite here. If Samsonite didn't produce, then they were gonna be in trouble with Sears and that was gonna be a problem. So, this transport, with all that in mind, we have a deadline here, July 71. Sears has got a, Sears is expecting to be able to sell these sets. Samsonite's running out of a contract, or they're in a battle with Lego anyway, because by 72 they were done. And interestingly enough, I think 72, 70, I know they're in 71, Lego's in 70, in the Sears catalog in 71, but I think 72 and a couple years after that, Lego was not in the Sears catalog at all, which is at the time when Samsonite lost their ability to sell and make. Got to remember, Lego was, or Samsonite was making Lego in the United States during this time frame, which is why you get a lot of CA versus ABS. And one of the unique things in this set, waffle bottom gray base plates. What? Yeah. All the way into 1971, gray waffle bottom base plates. 
And that's not the only, it's not the only thing here. I, I'm, I'm trying to get to a point, and, and I'm struggling to get to this point. Um, this set, per the pictures on the box, came with the HO cars that Lego produced. Lego started producing these cars back 58, 50, early, late 50s, somewhere in there, 55. Future editor, me put the date in here when, when they started making these cars. And they produced them all the way to 1969. I've seen some say that they were available in 70. This is probably the end of the, you know, just end of stock. And most of the things that were coming out that I, you know, were associated with the 70s are the trucks, like the SO trucks and the fire trucks and stuff like that. Not a lot of the cars. Uh, it, it appears that by 69, that would have been the last year they produced these cars. And here's a collection of these cars right here. Okay, these were all Lego cars um, with uh, the uh, name of the car and the Lego logo on the bottom. So, absolutely 100% authentic Lego parts. But this set didn't come out till 19th Christmas of 1970. Wasn't in an earlier 1970 catalog, so it wasn't in the summer, spring. Of course, there wasn't a lot of toys in the earlier catalogs from Sears, but the Wish Book was the big toy catalog book for the year for Sears. That was it. If you were a kid, you wanted that book because that's where all the toys were at. So late 70s, and Lego or Samsonite is supposed to be selling these cars, selling these cars in this set. And again, a point off. Sears, big company, big giant company. You don't cross Sears. <laughs> so what happened? Lego quit making these cars and they ran out of stock. Samsonite couldn't continue to produce this set with these cars. They had to scramble. They had to come up with something different. And what they came up different with are these cars. Let's scoot these over. I'm gonna put these out here. I have five cars here because any one of these five cars could have been in this set. Uh, you may have gotten one of these cars. Um, yeah, you may have got four of the same car. I, I, it just really depended on what Samson I had. Samson I literally just threw what they had in the box. Uh, here's a blog posting that Gary Eistock put up. He's talking about the same subject. Uh, he uh, has a little bit in his book. Um, if you can get a hold of his book, it's a great book. Um, he talks a little bit about this, but this is one. This is one of those hard to find sets in his book because it is a Sears exclusive. So you got to go to the Sears exclusive sets, and then he's he's got a little blurb. But this blog post, I'm hoping his newest version of the book will have more information about this. But uh, in his vintage collector section of Facebook. He, he posted that post, and it basically talks about how um, Lego quit producing these cars, ran out of stock, Samsonite had to scramble around, and I don't, I'm not clear if Samsonite bought these cars from this British company, Minix, M-I-N-I-X. It is a British company. These are all plastic cars. Get some close-ups of these cars here. Um, or if Lego just started sending these cars to Samsonite to complete this this what I'm sure is a contractually obligated set at this point. All the other sets that that Samsonite was selling or Sears was selling from Samsonite through that they came in brown boxes and they were basic bricks. Very few specific parts like these cars, these specialty cars, these these very unique, very, for the time, pretty difficult to build. These are, they got metal bases and metal wheels and then the plastic and then it's a couple different kinds of plastic. You have a, the red plastic and then you have the chrome painting, but you have the clear windshields on these. These are high dollar items. Um, these are not as high dollar items. These Minix cars, they're, they're just HO, they're just HO. Made in England, um, 
They were obviously of a lesser quality, but they had to complete this contract. They had to be able to finish making these until July of 71. Or at least Sears had to have them available. So that's why we see pictures of this set, or you may even get this set. Like I got my set with these four Minix cars. I didn't get the HO cars. And at the time when I, when I purchased this off of eBay, I didn't realize, I didn't realize any of this, that there was two kinds of cars or that these were not HO, Lego HO cars, that they were a different brand. And I kind of thought I got duped. But I figured it out. It is possible that these cars came with it. And I'm, I'm assuming this, you know, all of this came together from one buyer. I'm assuming it was a complete set and this is the way it came. And this, although the, the expectation is that these boxes probably ran out first, these, these boxes, the, the colored box that they were selling in the store ran out first. Again, the box being produced for the sales orders from the, or from the catalog orders, that was just a brown box, right? It just had a Sears logo on it or a Samsonite logo on it. As long as they had pieces to put in those boxes, they were going to be able to sell them. So my assumption is that these would have had the HO cars available to them as pictured on the boxes. But if this one, and this is, an, an expect, this is just an assumption, if this one actually came with these four cars in this box, then they ran out of these cars really early on because these would have hit the shelves at Christmas time. Did, did these ever even come in this set? I'm guessing some did. There are people, other people who have these sets and they have these cars with this set. I've seen, I've seen these people, I've seen cars with the brown box and I question whether or not that was available unless, and I'm just speculating, they produced all of the brown box shipping ones. Maybe, maybe Sears knew they were going to sell 200,000 units or they were going to sell 150,000 units and they ordered 200,000 units. I'm just making these numbers up and they fulfilled these cars first with the HO so they could 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 meet this contract and then they filled these later with those cars now i don't know I, I really don't know it is generally understood that if you have ho car they would have came in this colored box and that the, the shipping came sep or the catalog orders came separate or later with the cheaper cars um i don't know but you could have had either or car and you could have had probably any combination of these minix cars or any of these ho cars these uh i know on the instructions it even pictures i think it pictures the carmen Ghia. Uh it also pictures two vw's which by my notes could have been in there the vw beetle you could have had the vw beetle the opal the Mercedes 220S, the Carmen Ghia, the Mercedes Sports, or the VW 1500, which, which one is that? Because that one, yeah, that's, that's this little guy here. So not a Beetle, but just a regular sedan. A four, is that a coupe? Yeah, eh, I don't know. I'm not a car guy. So this is our Carmen Ghia. Uh, this is a Mercedes 200, what is one? This is a, oh, this is a 190 SL. This is one that's pictured on the box. All right, but is it's pictured right there. All right, but is not one of them that is generally accepted as would have been in there. I don't know, and I say generally accepted, it's because that's what Gary Eistock said. Gary Eistock said it would have been 661 through 668. Any of those cars uh, could have been in there, and and or these cars. <laughs> could you imagine if we could find a sealed set that had a couple of these and a couple of those? Where there's like the last two of these and they put them in and then they had to throw two of those minics in. <laughs> I bet that never happened. But um, So yeah, this is a pretty this is a pretty cool little cool little set. So it's a mini wheel set, right? So that's why it's been part of this this group. It is in the the Samsonite model maker, mini wheel model maker set or theme. 
Um, box 157. What is sold? What did it say in the catalog? We actually have an actual pricing. $4.99 for this set out of the Sears catalog. I'd buy these cars for $4.99 all day long if somebody would sell them to me. <laughs> uh, these cars, these cars, the HO Lego cars, they'll run you for a... Uh, if you can even find them, they'll run you anywhere from $35 to $100 a piece depending on condition. Um, and honestly, the condition's not going to play that much into it. You get them up over the $75 to $100 range, then yeah, they should be a better condition. But these cars are just so hard to find. Everybody's gathered them up and kept them, and they got broke. They're, again, these are, not, these are not super high quality to begin with, even the Lego ones. So they were easily broke. If you look at these, it's missing the eyes, the headlights. Uh, let's see, I think I got one that's got, well, there's one that has headlights, those little bitty clear dots on the front. Crazy. Uh, that one's missing, the Carmagee is missing them. There's one that has, has one and missing one. So, I think this is probably one of the rare sets. Is it super valuable? If you part it out and try to part it together, yeah, it's pretty valuable. These these waffle bottom gray base plates are going to be tough to get. These cars are going to be tough to get. This instruction sheet. Oh, yeah, the instruction sheet. Look at this. One panel, three steps to build that truck. That's it. That's the whole thing. So, and for whatever reason, Samsonite decided to sit... Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't have fit in the box, yeah. They had to still fold it. One, one panel, and they still ended up folding it. Um, so I feel very, very, very lucky to have one of these. Um, again, I have... It is usually displayed with these cars. This is the cars that I display it with. I don't display it with these cars because... Well, I'm not sure, but this is my, collect, this is my collection of cars that could be in it. Um... Except for a VW. I wish I had a VW. I don't have a VW. I don't know why I don't have a VW. A Beetle. Could have been a Beetle in here too. Let me check my notes. Switch to the Minx, 1970s, 157 car transport. I think I covered all the highlights. Um, there's not going to be a build montage on this. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, it does not turn well. This one is tight. It is not a great build. None of this stays together real well. Uh, the it's on a hinge, and as soon as I try to move it, that's that's all the movement you got out of it, out of the hinge, and it it wants to fall off. That those waffle bottoms, there's a reason they went away from the waffle bottoms. They didn't work real well. It's hard to get things stuck to them, and then it's hard to get things stuck, to get things released. Um, yeah, uh, somebody's gonna ask me because the front of the box does not show these red pieces. So the front of the box. Up here does not show these red pieces, but the instructions do. But the instructions to build it only shows one. So the question is, does that one really exist? Is it part of the part count? Um, this one's not even shown on the box, but they show it in both sets of instructions. Here where you build it, down here, and it shows it up here. So... How this one goes together and, you know, please tell me if, if you think I built it wrong. I'm trying to look. I think I got it wrong. Um, yeah. I, you know, let me know. You can see there where it doesn't want to uh, completely completely come together. And part of that is these are older bricks. Um, so, you know, that plays a part of it. But these waffle bottom, trying to stick to those waffle... Hello, phone. Trying to stick to these waffle bottoms is pretty tough. I can't even get that to stick on there. So no, no building montage on this one. Uh, it does come with the Lego. Now there's another thing. This is showing. I have the Lego, just the white printing. The box is actually showing with the black outline. So I'm not sure. 
if I have the wrong ones or if like everything else, these that are on the box are just wrong. I'm not sure what it shows in the instructions. In the instructions, it just shows red bricks. It doesn't even show the logo, the Lego logo. I'm also looking at this. Yeah, no, I think. So in some of the pictures, it sh looks like it's got a dually wheel here. But in some of the pictures, it looks like it's got a single. And again, these are drawn pictures, so that's it's hard to tell. In the photograph, again, it's hard to tell. I think this should really be a dually set of wheels based on the photograph along with these. And this set's been sitting back here on the shelf for I don't know how long, for a long, long time. Jabo made a mention. <laughs> The other day he said you got the wrong wheel there because I had dually tires on a on an ax on a single axle so I got that fixed so there you go Jabo I fixed that but I think this should really have a dually and the instruct or the um, parts list on Bricklink says it shouldn't have any dually wheels but I'm pretty confident that these are dually wheels on the trailer in this picture and possibly on the truck itself too. You know, it's going to be impossible to tell, but so this is one of my favorite. Oh, looky there, it's trying to come apart. All I did was want to push that down, it's trying to come apart. This is another thing. This the, the connection point here is just that one row, one by four brick right here. That's the connection point between the trailer and the truck, so it easily comes apart. Easily comes apart. I would have to say this is probably this is probably close to one of the worst play designs that uh, was ever done. Uh, the The playability on this is it's it's just horrible. It's terrible. You can't you can't play with this. Um, I, I get it that you know this was a Samsonite set and never was released in Europe, so Lego never released this. And maybe because a lot of these reasons because of the playability. I don't know how much, how many designer Samson I had. I know they had their own sets, things that never got released in in Europe or anywhere else in the world, but just in the United States. But yeah, this one was, this one was not, not well designed. And by all practical measures, there's not a lot of them, especially since it only went through Sears for one Christmas season. Kind of makes you wonder how many of them Sears destroyed or threw away. If they if they threw it, you know, if they didn't sell out, what did they do with the extras? They probably went on sale and clearance at the stores. So, okay, I think I've waffled along enough about waffle bottom plates in this number one fifty seven Sears exclusive Samsonite model maker mini wheel auto transport. Next time I'll remember to silence my phone. It does say just one more. It does say it includes four cars on the box. So Bricklink's in inventory. Bricklink inventory only says it comes with two cars. Um, so clearly Bricklink is wrong there. It came with four. What four? I don't know. So. Thanks for watching. So you made it to the end of the line. It must be comment contest time. So. That transporter, that auto transporter, was a Sears exclusive. But what other famous department store also had exclusive Lego sets from Samsung? First correct answer in the comments, and I'll pin you to the top.